Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to Go. And today, we're going to be talking about the Ferrari SF90 Stradale and its pricing. Now, there have been uh, rumors when this car was first announced, was it 2019, maybe even 18, that this car was going to cost around $300,000 to $400,000. And, well, now we know that isn't quite true uh, I guess from the people that know they said this was gonna be the most affordable Ferrari hypercar ever uh, not including inflation the Enzo Ferrari was six hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars and the f50 was four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars so this car being around three hundred to four hundred thousand would make it the cheapest hypercar ferraris ever produced now i'm here to tell you that if you're thinking you're about to get a uh, ferrari hypercar for under 400 or 500 thousand dollars i'm sorry to shatter your dreams <laughs> that ain't happening this car's price is six hundred and twenty five thousand dollars so that is two times <laughs> the price people were quoting so many years ago it seems now and you don't see too many youtubers talking about this price i haven't seen any videos of anyone saying how much this costs uh, there aren't too many videos out there with this car in it on the street and we've seen uh, people in the ferrari dealerships with this car we've seen people at press conferences with this car but no one has said anything about the price i don't know why maybe it's something to do with ferrari not wanting too many people to know before it was announced but now online you can see that this car costs 620 some thousand dollars and i can understand why they didn't go with those prices seeing they would undercut their other products the roma sells from around 200,000. the portofino around 220 and the 812 super fast the gts cost from 300 to 500 thousand dollars so this car had to be set on a price point that's a little above that just so they don't undercut those cars and for those that do not know the sf9 stradale is not the successor to the la ferrari which was a v12 hybrid this is a v8 hybrid of course is extremely powerful with over a thousand horsepower and extremely fast but it does not have the same top speed as the la ferrari actually it has the same top speed as the current top line of ferrari supercars with 211 miles per hour and that's the same as the gts the a12 super fast and the tributo don't ask me why ferrari has limited the top speed capabilities of this car we already know it's ridiculously fast i'm sure there's going to be videos out there that are going to showcase how fast this car actually is now with all that being said did ferrari miss its golden opportunity with the sf90 stradale and its price point and i'll probably have to say no because listen this isn't a limited production uh, car ferrari hasn't said how many they plan on making i think they're going to make as many as they can sell I'm going to keep it 100% frank with you guys or 100% buck for my hood family. Uh, I don't think Ferrari is going to have a problem selling this car whatsoever. This is probably going to be the highest selling Ferrari hypercar ever. And Ferrari didn't really lie when they said this was going to be the most affordable hypercar ever produced. You know, including inflation, the other two cars were over 800000 900000 in today's money let's not forget this is the first v8 hybrid from ferrari and the first v8 hyper car from ferrari since the f40 so it does have some historical merits to its name and even without all that it's still a badass amazing car so no i don't think ferrari misses golden opportunity with the pricing of this car who knows what's next for ferrari you know they have an suv in the work we know they had a v6 hybrid in the work who knows if that's still coming we'll have to wait and see and yeah tell me what do you think are you all right with the pricing of this car did you still think it was going to be three hundred thousand? if you had the opportunity would you buy the 
SF90 Stradali. Uh, the only thing I'm I'm looking forward to is seeing people put this car up against the LaFerrari. I really want to see that matchup. I really want to see what car comes out on top. And with all that said, I like to bring this video to a close. So if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. Got a lot of stuff for this channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. With that said, I'll catch you later.